So, there's a story today where three high school girls have been charged in connection with the death of a 16-year-old girl in a bathroom fight last month at the Delaware High School, authorities say. One of the girls, 16, was charged with criminally negligent homicide, while two others were charged with criminal conspiracy, according to the Delaware Attorney General's office. The homicide charge is punishable by up to eight years in prison, and prosecutors say they will try to charge the teen as an adult. The conspiracy charges are punishable by up to a year in prison. CNN is not identifying the girls because they are all minors. The girl who died in the fight, identified as Amy Anita Joyner Francis, died from sudden cardiac death, the medical examiner office said. Joyner had pre-existing heart conditions, but officials said the cardiac incident would not have occurred if she had not been assaulted. The three girls charged attended Howard High School of Technology in Wilmington. They were suspended after the death on April 21st when they were questioned by police. The school district said, City officials expressed sorrow at the violence. My heart is broken, Wilmington Mayor Dennis Williams said at a news conference after the incident. I am so upset that a young lady lost her life. Things like this shouldn't happen. My heart bleeds for the, for the family, the kids who go to this school, and the administrators and our city. Now, what can I say that hasn't probably already been said? If these girls, which is which this is seeming to be, are responsible for this young lady's pa unfortunate passing, I, I believe they should face some type of pursuit by the law and get charges that actually are applicable to them. And it really just disturbs me that we live in a society where people love to talk about how men have just abused our women and killed them and ravaged them. And that is true. It's correct. But when you have cases such as this, it, it kind of goes back to the saying, there's always an exception to the rule. And that's really what this is. And frankly, there's no way of knowing whether or not they knew of her condition or were purposely trying to kill her. But, you know, this was a planned, at the very least, assault or confrontation. They put their hands on her to make her fall out this way that she did. And I'm glad the school is trying to take some type of action. I'm glad someone's taking some action on this. Because we've oftentimes seen that people won't go out of their way to stop things of this nature uh, from occurring again. And I'm, I'm glad that this is happening because we can't, we have to send a message that you can't just go around and do these kind of things to people and expect to get away with it. So thank you for listening and have a good day.